So if you're tired from fixing your merge conflicts in VS Code in this classic, pretty bad way where you got like current change and you're gonna figure out the incoming change and it just like super cumbersome and it doesn't make a lot of sense for you. Well, in this particular video, we're gonna see how you can move from this classic old way of fixing merge conflicts into a really new awesome editor from VS Code which offers a really awesome nice of features something like this, where you can just like have three views, you can easily fix your merge conflicts, you can easily see what's going on in here. It's super nice. And in fact, this new merge editor is gonna allow you to fix your merge conflicts like a pro. So we've all been through the messiness of actually trying to resolve multiple merge conflicts and bunch of files. When you try to just actually merge like one branch into a different branch, or maybe you're collaborating with another team member and you're just getting everything messed up. And if we try to do this on the command line or using a terminal, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be just super messy. Also, if we try to use like VS Code, which is the old version of VS Code or the old merge editor of VS Code, you're not gonna get the best out of it either. But with the new VS Code release on June 2022, on version 169, they have actually introduced a pretty awesome version or a pretty awesome tool that's gonna allow you to resolve your merge conflicts even faster and even easier. So let's take a look on how we can actually use this new three-way merge editor thing and how could it be super beneficial for us and just like take a quick look and like on action, how we can fix conflicts using this new one. And as we are in here, we got two branches. We got our main branch in here and we got our new feature branch, which is obviously we wanna take this new feature branch and wanna merge it right into the main branch. But the problem in here, obviously, they are not compatible and they're gonna cause merge conflicts. So if you quickly just take a look in here and try to compare the main branch, which is, you know, the current head in here, I go to this one, I do compare with head, as Chris said, compares with head, it's going to give you the comparison. So as Chris in here, the main branch is a head with three commits from the new feature branch, and is behind four commits from the new feature branch. And before starting actually the merge of our new feature branch, I just want to look at what the application looks like before doing that. So we can clearly see or compare before and after. So for this, we like we have no navigation we only got a single page, we can actually just, we don't have a multi-page sort of application, we don't have a navigation bar, uh, we got our button here like a green button, and we are applying some price filter, so any product that is below the $100, it's not going to show up, so it's only going to show up um, $100 and up, so all these products are in here are plus $100. So if you want to merge, just get merge, and I'm going to do the new feature. So I'm going to merge the new feature into the main branch, okay? Click on this, and as you see in here, I already got a bunch of conflicts. I think I got three conflicts for these files. And if I look from the left side in here, so let's say I wanna, okay, I, I wanna actually fix my conflicts and I wanna go ahead and see exactly what's happening. So if I click on it on VS Code, this is how I usually see it in VS Code. And this is like the classic way to fix or handle merge conflicts. So we are all like familiar with this way. I mean, this is fine for most cases if the file is actually small and it like it makes sense to do that but sometimes you find it super hard and super complicated to actually figure out which one to accept or maybe you want to accept both which sometimes it doesn't actually work it doesn't preview the changes like in a really good way and it doesn't show you like before and after in a really good way either. And that's where the new awesome three-way merge editor actually comes into the place. So if you look right down uh, or the right hand corner in here, as you can see this resolve in merge editor, which is this is actually the like how you enable the new merge editor or the three-way merge editor, like the new one. If you click on it, so it actually shows you three views, which makes it super easy for us. So the first one, as you see, like this this one from the left-hand side on the top, you're gonna see this is actually the new feature branch. So it shows you the changes that are coming from the new feature branch, particularly on this commit. And this one is gonna be the incoming stuff that's gonna you know come to our main branch in here. The second one, which is the current of obviously we are in the main branch that means we are in the current so this is it tells you exactly oh this is the main branch these are the changes that are currently in the main branch and the other awesome part as well with this as clearly seeing whenever you select something it selects everything in here and as i scroll all the area structure is going to scroll the same time uh, it makes it super easy actually to follow and actually merge the conflicts in here and as clearly it's going to give us this whitish sort of border or kind of like square or rectangular it tells you exactly like where we're going to need 
to focus on this. So for example, in here, let's say, oh, I'm going to accept the incoming, I don't need the current. So as I click on accepting coming in here, as Christine immediately shows up instead of the current one in like, you know, you have in here, you can even accept the current in here, it's going to like accept both, it's going to do incoming plus current. And as Christine, you see both changes, but okay, I don't want to like, I don't want the current in here, I want to completely remove this one. Uh, so if I move a little bit down here, as you see, I completely added these new ones. So it tells you exactly, oh, which one you want to accept. So on a, you can accept combination. And this kind of like figures out uh, exactly what's going on. So for example, do accept combination as you see, keeps uh, one part from here and just keeps the other parts. Or you can remove both like the current in here and you only want to keep the incoming. So yeah, this this actually is going to make it super cool. And so you see in here from the top right hand corner, you can clearly see that, oh, there is zero conflicts remaining. So it tells you the progress if you're like, fixing the conflicts and everything. And you can easily track how many conflicts are left for you to fix, or if you're just done with all the conflicts. And it's crazy here, if I click on this one, it's crazy, it's gonna take me exactly to, to like the classic old view in here, uh, not like the new one I've been seeing in here. And that's exactly because this, like the three-way merge editor isn't enabled by default for all files. So to make sure you enable that, you go to settings or user settings, and you actually search for the merge editor on top here. And this one is going to give you like, oh, gets merge editor. So you want to just make sure you select this one. And this will make it actually by default going to pop off for everything. So if I close this one, and you're just going to get back into it, as you see, I'm going to just have the chance to get like the merge editor in here for all my conflicted files. And as you see in here for a different file, let's say we got some filters in here, we got like the incoming from new feature, I'm now fil filtering by rate, while before I was filtering by price. So this is actually the conflict in here. And you can either accept one or the other. Uh, and you can exactly see like which one you want to do. So you can accept combination of both. Uh, so you can just like have both filters, which you know, obviously it doesn't make sense for that case either. So for us in here, I just want to accept the um, okay, I want to just go through accepting currents from here. So I'm going to like filters products, if I scroll a little bit down, as you see this filters products and filters products by price. Okay, I want to accept the currents because you know, they have to work together in here, and he immediately shows you what you have accepted in here, and he tells you exactly. And the top in here it tells you, oh, you've accepted currents, and you can easily remove currents if you ever want to. And hallelujah! So by just doing three of these files in here, we're done with the merge conflicts. And if you quickly like, just take a look on the application after the merge and everything, this is what it looks like. Now we got a pretty nice way because now we've been able to like, uh, we got all the features we need. We got the routers from our new feature branch. We got like something like the price filter in here from the current branch, which obviously is like, uh, I want to only get up like a minimum $100. So I filtered by price in here. And it's basically showing us everything we want. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy the new Olufsen VS Code 3 Way Merge Editor. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, guys, catch you hopefully in the next ones.